hi hello everyone hi guys how are you i hope and pray that this video is reaching you guys in great health and strength filled with god's richest love his joy his peace his happiness and all of the amazing and wonderful things that life has to offer today is saturday october the 15th 2022 and this is the day that the lord has made so let us rejoice and be glad in it <coughs> um excuse me i am about to head out to go do some work you know to go make some money some paper but before i do so i just wanted to i felt a nudge in my spirit to record this video i don't know how long it's gonna be i don't know how short it's gonna be i don't think i'm gonna edit anything out it's just gonna be raw and real and whatever you know so i haven't been on my channel in over a month and there is great reason i know every time i take <laughs> every time i take like a long sabbatical from this channel and then when i come back it, it's always with some soft story but hey life happens okay and life has been happening life has been lifing in my life <laughs> you know <laughs> for these past couple of months it has been a whirlwind um i have been going through so much trials and testings and when i tell you in every area of my life i need as much prayers as i can get so hey if you're watching this video and you are a prayer warrior please put my name down on your prayer list put my mom's name down put my husband's name down put my family's name down and just please remember us in prayers because the the, the, the fight is real okay the fight is real i have been um I don't want to go too much into detail but there has been a lot of things that's been going on in my life stemming from you know my mom her health my marriage um it's been going we, 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 we're going through some things um very very deep things and um i've been receiving some counseling i've been receiving a lot of prayers and encouragement some people have been you know telling me you know do this some people have been telling me to do that but at the end of the day i still need to um listen to the lord and see what he says to do so i just want to um come on here and encourage anybody who is watching this right now wherever you are in the world and whatever it is that you are facing please i pray I beg of you, do not give up the fight. Please continue to fight the good fight of faith. I am still fighting the good fight of faith. I am still holding on to the promises of the Lord. I am still praying that God will turn this ship around because right now this ship is like doing its own thing. But God is in the boat with me, okay? Jesus is in this boat with me. And um, all it takes is faith. The word of God says all it takes is a mustard seed of faith. And we will see mountains move in our lives. So I just feel the need to just come on here and to encourage you. Um, I just saw this video with this girl. You know, she lives in Ghana. And she did this update video with her and her husband are no longer together. They have kids. And I said, no, 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 no. No, the enemy is after families. He is hell-bent on destroying the family, the unit, families of God, marriages are of God. And there are so many of us who are having so much difficulties in our marriages, you know, um, stemming from all kinds of problems. And it seems as though... It, it, it makes no sense to keep fighting but God is the one who ordained marriages and he ordained families and he said that um, in our times of trouble if we call upon him he will hear and he will answer and we really got to fight we really have to fight we really got to keep praying until we see results pray pray until you see the results pray until you see the results keep praying even if you feel like giving up don't give up just say father god i come into you once again with this matter do this for me praise him in the storm praise him in the storm lift your hands because he is god and he has the final say and no weapon formed against you and your family no weapon formed against me and my family it's 
it, it will prosper. The enemy is defeated, but he wants to make it seem as though he has all this power. But he is already defeated. He's already trampled, been been trampled under under he is under our feet. So all we have to do is trample upon him. Don't give him any power. Don't give him, you know, any leeway in your life. You know, um. I just came back from Guyana, okay? Uh, I have some videos that I will be uploading, and let me tell you, this particular trip that I went to Guyana was not very pleasant. I don't want to go much into detail, but let me tell you, the drama, the drama, the drama is all the way here, okay? But, um... I'm believing the Lord for a turnaround in our lives, in my husband and I's life. Um, you know, we've been going through some things for a while now, and it may seem like the best thing for us to do is to separate, but I believe with all of my heart that there is a reason why the Lord knitted us together. He brought us together, and no matter what um, may happen, in our marriage um i believe that god can change things around he can change both him and i and make us into the people that he created us to be and make us into the family that he designed for us and we can um come back from this <laughs> i have that faith um so i'm just asking you guys to just keep my husband and i in prayers keep my mama and i in prayers her health is um, not the best, you know, she was in the hospital for about a week after I came back and yeah, it's been a lot, <laughs> but God is good. So let me, um, let me just encourage you, you know, I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're facing. Everybody's facing something. We are all going through something in this life. But remember that what we are going through right now, it is not for us. It is to help somebody else in the future. So keep on fighting. Don't give up. You may get weary. You may want to give in. But don't wave the white flag. Don't wave. The only white flag you should be waving is the flag of... Of submission to God wave that white flag say okay God I surrender I surrender I surrender take over take over I let go of the the handle I let go of the wheel you come and take over and you come and you fight this battle for me you come and you vindicate your name in my life because I've been calling upon you for so long and now it is time for you to show up mightily in my life so um yeah that's what that's all I, I felt I feel the need to say. Keep fighting the good fight. Remember that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember Psalms ninety one. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shield upon the right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. And every single hour that flies, okay, by day or by night shall not penetrate. Even if they penetrate, it will not take you out. Okay, because God has there is going to be a message out of all of the mess that surrounds you it surrounds me god bless you and share this video with someone if you find it helpful okay don't give up keep fighting keep praying keep trusting god all right the victory is yours god bless bye and one or two more things um without faith it is impossible to please god always remember that Without faith, it is impossible to please God, and faith without works is dead. We are not saved by works. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. But faith without works is dead. So do the work. Get up, pray, um, go about your day, praise the Lord, and you will see God move mightily in your life. And another thing, all those who have come against you and your family without a cause. This is a warning for all those people. Who decided to make you take you and make you an enemy maybe they see something in your life that they want they want to commit and they don't fear god this is a warning you need to stop because if you don't stop god is going to stop you he's going to stop you and it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry god god is very patient he's been very very patient with mankind but one day his patience will run out for to the wicked to the wicked they that congregate in their 
in their homes or whatever and, and tries to come up with plans and, and, and schemes to destroy the children of God. Whenever you come against the children of God, you are coming against God himself and you will never win. So let us pray for our enemies. Let us pray that God will have mercy upon them and that in his wrath, he will remember mercy because he will cut down the wicked. He will cut down the wicked. So this is a warning. If you are doing wicked things, and you're watching this video, stop, repent, turn from your wicked ways, and turn to the Lord Jesus before it is too late. All right, I'll go now. God bless you. Subscribe, share this video. Share this video if you find it helpful with someone that needs to hear it right now. God is going to tear down the enemies of his children he is going to come he is going to cut down their enemies our enemies and if those people who decided to take our children and make them enemies and do all kinds of things to them if they feel that god will stop with just them <laughs> you have another thing coming this god god is not going to be mocked that's one thing he said in his word he will not be mocked. Not because he is silent and things are happening. It seems as though he's not doing anything. It doesn't mean that he's not good, going to do anything. Before God does anything, look it up. He always warns. He always sends warnings. He said, behold, I lay before you life and death. And he says to choose life, but it is up to you. So, remember, have faith, have faith, and believe. And know that God is going to fight your battles for you. And once God is fighting for you, you are already winning. You have already won. All right? You've already won. God bless. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.